codings in this tutorial i will explain ternary huffman coding with some example determine ternary huffman codes for the following messages with their probability circumvent so this ternary huffman coding is also known as three array coding so here seven messages are given and uh, their associated probabilities so in ternary coding we use three symbols ternary coding uses three symbols 0 1 and 2 in case of binary coding binary huffman coding we used only symbols 0 and 1 okay the first step in coding huffman coding is arrange the given probabilities in decreasing order the messages are arranged in the decreasing order of probability in this example there is no need to arrange them in any any other because the, uh, already the probabilities are in the decreasing order we don't need to arrange them again we reproduce the probabilities as it is because they are already in decreasing order of probability so this is the algorithm for Huffman binary coding in Huffman binary coding we use only 0 2 symbols but uh, in ternary coding we use 0 1 2 in quaternary coding we use 0 1 2 and 3 the only difference is this so we understand uh, these steps source symbols are listed and the order of decreasing probability this is the first step this move as high as possible rule we understand when we do the example and uh, next step is to combine the lowest three probabilities so this lowest three probabilities we combine the sum of uh, lowest three messages having lowest probability so after combining these probabilities we get 0 0.2 also assign 0 1 2 to the branches okay, as shown here we can also assign see assigning codes is arbitrary we can also assign codes 210 like this or 1 2 0 so we can assign the codes to the branches in this way and uh, the next step is move 0 0.2 as high as possible so this 0 0.2 probability we will move as high as possible we can also use the rule move as low as possible but in this example we follow as high as possible so this 0 0.2 we move to the position of x2 we cannot move to the position of x3 uh, sorry x1 here because we follow the rule as high as possible so we move this probability to the position of x2 after moving this combined symbol probability to the position of x2 we will push down remaining messages so here this point 3 x1 message will be as it is there is no need to move down so the remaining messages because we occupy 0 0.2 combined symbol probability here we have to move down these messages in this way you can also see binary coding example to understand it to better then combine again lowest three probabilities after moving down we combine the lowest three probabilities again this is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.15 we get 0 0.5 so we proceed this procedure until we uh, only three messages are remaining at the end we use move as high as possible to move this 0 0.5 probability to the position of x1 we can move it to the position of x1 and the remaining probabilities we push down 
as shown here then uh, again combine lowest uh, three probabilities the procedure is followed until we remain with uh, three symbols at the end so we combine 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 to get the probability 1 and we assign 0 1 2 to the branches shown here and uh, now we want to find the Huffman codes ternary Huffman codes for messages x1 x2 and so on suppose for x1 we have to follow the path while writing the code code words we have to follow the path with the arrows in this direction so to write ternary code for uh, x1 we follow path like this we come across with 1 so we write the 1 suppose we want to find code for x6 so here 1 we got then we have to follow the branches with the arrow path in this manner so we get 2 here we write to 2 here for x7 first we get 2 then we follow the arrow path then we get 2 so this is the ternary code for message x7 so while writing this code we have to follow right to left the digits are written from right to left similarly we can produce the code words for x2 x3 and x4 x5 here we assign 0 1 2 to the branches as shown here we can also assign 2 1 0 in this manner assigning digits to the branches is your choice we, we assigning arbit, uh, codes are arbitrary so when we apply digits in this manner we get different Huffman codes for x1 we follow like this we get 1 for x2 we write 2 first then follow this branch then again we get 2 suppose for x5 x5 we get 2 x5 we get 2 then we follow the branch arrow then 0 we get a 0 see previously we get a 0 to Huffman coding for x5 message will be 0 2 in previous assignment we get a 0 2 here we get a 2 0 like this in this manner we so Huffman codes are not a unique we get different Huffman codes for same problem that is why Huffman codes are not a unique here homework questions are given determine the ternary Huffman code for this problem here the message probabilities are not in order we have to arrange them in decreasing order of probability here also we find ternary Huffman coding for the given problem and uh, question number 3 determine the quaternary Huffman codes for the following messages if you want pdf files of my video lectures please visit www.engineerstutor.com for a pdf link see description of the video you can also write to me at rkgopal2020 at the rate of gmail.com for any doubts and queries